What do Scotty's transporter from Star Trek, Doctor Who's TARDIS, and the Bifrost used by Marvel's Thor all have in common? Well, they utilize wormholes in one form or another to near instantly transport people through space and across different dimensions. So, are wormholes a viable option then? Or are they just the stuff of science fiction, myth, and legend? If they are real, can we use them to expand out across the universe and through time? Or are we playing with fire? Welcome to Fact Nominal, and today, deep into the vortex in why wormholes are a big deal. Are they real? In reality, wormholes are a theoretically possible construct. However, we have gathered no evidence either confirming or denying their existence. They were first theorized in 1916, a passage through space-time predicted by the general theory of relativity. While reviewing another physicist's solutions to the equations, Albert Einstein proposed, Ludwig Flamm realized another solution was possible, a reversal of a black hole, with another opening connected by a space-time conduit. In 1935, Einstein and another physicist by the name of Nathan Rosen used the general theory of relativity to expand on Flamm's idea, proposing the existence of the Einstein-Rosen bridge. It would be a way to connect two different points in space-time, creating a shortcut of sorts, otherwise known as a wormhole. The idea that space-time is effectively folded, with two extremely distant points linked by the bridge formed by the wormhole. At this point, the whole idea is very hypothetical. Very few scientists think we will be stumbling across any wormholes anytime soon. To get a true feel for what a wormhole is, we need to brush up on our high school science classes and get better acquainted with black holes. What's a black hole? In short, a black hole is formed when a star exhausts its stored fuel required to maintain the nuclear fusion reaction at its core, effectively combining two hydrogen atoms to form a single helium atom. The gravitational forces required to sustain this reaction are almost immeasurable. Once the hydrogen is all used up, the star explodes into a supernova before contracting in on itself in a gravitational collapse, creating the black hole. The intense gravity required to form the star and maintain its burn effectively dooms it to a life of sucking matter and radiation into its void. They can only be tracked by the gravitational forces they exert on celestial bodies around them and cannot be seen as not even light can escape, forming a point of no return called an event horizon effectively the mouth of a giant funnel. Okay, so then what's a wormhole? A wormhole is essentially another funnel, attached to the back of a black hole with the mouth aiming the opposite way. Having an appearance a little like an hourglass, the rear wormhole is frequently referred to as an opposite white hole. It's thought that the mouth's a spheroidal in shape, with the throat spiraling with a slight wind before reaching the Einstein-Rosen bridge, linking the two structures together. A naturally occurring black hole, formed from a dying star, is not thought to create a wormhole by itself. For a wormhole to exist, there must be exotic matter present, a substance entirely different from regular anti- or dark matter. Exotic matter is classified as containing negative energy density and a large negative pressure, and so far, has only been seen in the behavior of certain vacuum states as part of the quantum field theory. In essence, wormholes may or may not exist, and if they do, it's with the help of unnamed exotic matter which also may or may not exist. Then there is the fact that the general theory of relativity fundamentally excludes the existence of exotic matter by its very nature. Wormholes may not only connect to different parts of the universe, but also two entirely different universes it's also theorized that they could connect the same place in the universe, but in a different time. Think time machine. Can we use them? Nearby stars are an unachievable goal. It would take around 165,000 years to complete the journey to our nearest star, Alpha Centauri, traveling at approximately 17,600 miles an hour. And even then, sending word that we reached our destination would take 4.3 years to reach the Earth. Then there's the monumental task of building a ship to last that long in space. Obviously, this is an unfathomable amount of time, 
a total waste of brain power to even consider it. Unless alternate technologies could get us there substantially faster, let's look at some feasible options. There are antimatter engines, which are not even theoretically possible yet, let alone viable. Then there's nuclear fusion rockets. Not only are they yet to exist, a prototype would be too large to fit on a spacecraft. Some scientists have proposed nuclear pulse propulsion, which lays small nuclear bombs behind the ship so the blast can push it along, which sounds like a super bad idea. Futurists have theorized the possibility of magnetic Bussard ramjets that suck up nearby magnetic fields to fuel the drive. Again, not even theoretically possible yet. This leaves us with only one realistic option, wormholes. The only catch is that the laws of physics would forbid any solid matter from traveling through a wormhole. It's somewhat likely that information may be able to be passed through the other side using electromagnetic radiation, but even then, it's pure speculation. Are they dangerous? The addition of regular matter contained in a human being to the exotic matter theoretically contained within a wormhole could cause it to suddenly and violently collapse, a cancellation effect that would cause a chain reaction and destabilize the entire Einstein-Rosen bridge. Traveling through a wormhole, if it even stays open following your entrance, would also be tricky mainly because of the black hole part. You would be expected to die instantly. Well, sort of. Your reality would split into two. In one, you would be instantly incinerated or torn apart into subatomic particles, or both. In the other reality, you would fall into the abyss of the black hole completely unharmed, infinitely, time would have no meaning. The truth is that a black hole is a place where the laws of physics as we know them break down and cease to exist. Gravitational force can wrap the fabric of space-time itself, and in a place with this much gravity, a black hole can be twisted in on itself, burrowing a hole in the very fabric of reality. Even if there was a way to prevent the above two scenarios, there is the pesky nuisance of the extraordinarily powerful radiation you would be exposed to. Historically, humans don't do so well when exposed to a large dose of nuclear byproduct nasties. So, good or bad idea? Current technology has advanced insufficiently enough to create, enlarge, or stabilize black holes, and that means that the wormholes are completely out of the question. Even if one could be found, we would have no way of using it. Astrophysicist Eric Davies from EarthTech believes that wormholes are our best bet at achieving time travel. He thinks it's possible according to the general theory of relativity, and scientists have already sent tiny particles called muons, similar to electrons, forward in time by manipulating the gravity around them. But we are talking in the order of nanoseconds here. Davis thinks that the wormhole won't be a method for traveling indescribably long distances through the universe, but rather sending humans through what is called a closed time-like curve, otherwise known as a time machine. The problem here is that the amount of exotic matter needed to create this quantum back reaction would destroy the wormhole almost immediately after its creation. Famous astrophysicist Stephen Hawking is of the opinion that you can't have your cake and eat it too. Scientists must either ground their arguments based in either the general theory of relativity or in quantum theory, both of which are not only incomplete, but neither is able to fully encompass and explain the complexities of the universe and its physics. Before scientists can look at discovering and utilizing wormhole technology, there needs to be a reconciled set of rules, often referred to as the quantum theory of gravity. Hawking goes on to that, although a wormhole-based machine to travel through time and space is possible under general relativity, the rules of quantum mechanics expressly deny the possibility of it being used to transport any variety of matter or radiation through the portal. Scientists are hopeful, however, that in the distant future, wormhole technology could be utilized to power craft to send mankind to even our closest star, other parts of the Milky Way, and maybe even to other galaxies in the far reaches of the universe, almost instantaneously.